The medical aid and dying bill currently sitting on Governor Joe Lombardo's desk. The clock is ticking. Will he sign or veto it? 8 News Now reporter Joshua Piguero joins us live from the newsroom with both sides. Joshua. Hello, Sasha and Vanessa. The Republican governor has until Monday to make a decision on this bill before it becomes law. Until one is made, each side is vying to get his attention. The Catholic Church and the Nevada Catholic Conference holds the position that God alone is the author of life and the sole arbiter of death. Monty Chavez, co-director of the Nevada Catholic Conference, says Senate Bill 239 tramples values held by the Roman Catholic Church for thousands of years. The bill passed by only one vote in the state Senate in April, but had more support in the Assembly. One of the common arguments that um, is brought up is that there's safeguards with this bill, right? And in every state or country where this has passed, gradually those safeguards get removed. Eleven states have legalized medical aid in dying. Qualifying patients must be 18 years old, deemed mentally competent, and diagnosed terminal with six months or less to live by two different doctors. Linda Brooks Bracey supports Nevada's bill. Diagnosed with terminal cancer, she's currently undergoing experimental treatment. I happen to be a Christian, um, have a, a great belief in God and my faith. Um, I don't believe for me in my faith that God asks me for excessive suffering. That's not the God that I know. Brooks Bracey says most terminally ill people are trying to survive as long as they can, and SB 239 would only serve as the last option. She implores on Governor Lombardo to sign the bill. He's invited to my home to see what my family and other families in Nevada have to go through the last weeks of their lives. Now, SB 239 will also ensure that if someone goes through this death, it wouldn't be listed as a suicide, but as terminal illness at hand. Sasha? And we are approaching the last few days of the legislative session. Republican Governor Joe Lombardo has vetoed two dozen bills passed by the Democrat-controlled legislature.